All right, so uh, for this chapter, if you've already started, which hopefully you have, uh, you'll recognize that we are utilizing right radicals and a lot of exponents or powers. And many of your professors uh, may have already given you a chart similar to this, but if not, uh, I want to make this available to you uh, as either a download. So simply send me an email and just say, hey, can I get the power reference sheet? Uh, and I'll be happy to send it to you. Or if you're on the Gardens campus, stop by uh, the Pass Lab and I'll make sure that there are uh, a whole bunch of these available for you. And all this is, is a reference or cheat sheet for your powers or your exponents. Uh, so for example, let's say that you wanna know what eight to the fifth power is. Well, you go down to the number column, you go to eight, and then go over to the fifth power column and you'll see 32,768. Let's say you wanted to know what 14 to the seventh power is. Well, go down to 14, go all the way over to the seventh power, and you'll see 105,413,504, so on and so forth. Now, in this particular course, we're probably not going to be using, right, 20 to the eighth power, right? That's probably not going to be something we're using. But you'll definitely want to start to uh, memorize, and you will, and that'll just happen naturally as you do your homework and do these practice tests, you'll start to uh, memorize, you know, certainly the powers one through 10 of at least the second and third power, right? Fourth power, fifth power, all of those, uh, you know, you can utilize your calculator or the chart, but you will start to, you know, recognize what, you know, eight to the second is, right? 64, eight times eight. Uh, but again, we're gonna be using this chart for a lot of the work that we do on this practice test. So if you need one, by all means, just let me know, email me, and I'll be happy to get one out to you.